Hello, I'm Phil Cleary. Great to be with you as we continue to marvel at football in the old days. Today we travel to beautiful Hobart, where the men and women of the Apple Isle flock to the 1966 ANFC Carnival. I'm sure today's match between Tasmania and South Australia will have all you footy lovers in Tassie thinking about a local team playing in the national competition. At full forward for Tasmania was the great Peter Hudson, whose 20 goals at the Carnival earned him an All-Australian blazer and a stellar career at Hawthorne. Let's not forget Barry Lawrence and John Bonney also, whom, like Hudson, went on to play VFL football. Three South Australians secured All-Australian selection that year. Brenton Adcock, Rick Schoff and Robert Day, who went on to play in Hawthorne's 1971 Premiership alongside Peter Hudson. And let's not forget Neil Curley, who was making his final interstate appearance for South Australia. South Australia go into the last quarter against Tasmania with a big lead of 38 points, 11-5-71 to 4-9-33. Chance for uh, South Australia to go immediately into, into attack, but here's McLean in for Tasmania. He's grabbed, the ball is held to him, and umpire Crouch will, Crouch will bounce it 10 yards down from the centre. Bounce, rucks up for it. There's low, still on the field with a heavily bandaged uh, right leg. Away go Tasmania again, but uh, South Australia through Potter. A long hand pass didn't come off. Donahue kicks it off the ground. There's uh, Anderson just fending off an opponent neatly and driving his side out of danger. Good football, South Australia. Oti to Curley. Curley across towards the half forward line looking for Skews. In goes Dunn, a hand pass to Simmonson, roaming down from the centre. A good player, Simmonson, lines up the goal. Up it goes Kingston, a glorious mark. The drop punt from Kingston shouldn't miss this one, and he hasn't. That's his third goal. And uh, South Australia move away to an almost unbeatable lead. 12-5-77 to Tasmania, 4-9-33. There's a good kick bringing the ball to centre half forward. Schoff sets himself for it. Knocked away from him comes to Wilkinson. Wilkinson a hand pass to Barkley Cox. Runs at the trouble. The ball knocked away. Gets out of it. Sends a hand pass forward. He comes to the ball himself again. Dummies around. What's he going to do with it? Hook it around. It's coming up to the forward zone where Wilkinson takes the mark and could put it through from here. Tasmanian crowd, a record crowd, or near record crowd of about 24,000 here. Wilkinson shoots the goal and it looks all right. It's the goal for Tasmania, their fifth goal, they badly need them. 37 points of difference, Donahue high, chance there for Big Roberts, he kicks it off the ground, gets it across towards the centre to Bagshaw. Bagshaw, a long hand pass to uh, Hicks. Hicks with a potter with a long drop kick for goal. There's Kingston marking one foot out from goal. All Tasmania's work to get a bit closer, apparently undone, as Kingston drives this one through for his fourth goal, and South Australia's 13, 13 6 84, Tasmania 5 11 41. There's the tap to Tasmania, the ball coming out to Lee. Lee down towards Hudson, but Nebone comes out in front of him, it bounces over Hudson's head. Here's the chance for Tasmania. Wilkinson comes in, beats the corner, up the ground. A goal, his second of the corner, and the Tasmanian crowd comes alive a chance for Tasmania as uh, the mark taken there by Baker Baker with that high floating drop punt up to Donahue. Donahue flying for the mark couldn't hold it coming out is McLean with the ball he gets it up towards Hudson who slips but goes on with play hand passes to Lawson who's on for Tasmania he's caught with the ball gets it out to Lee Lee is grabbed down the it's a record. The record was established last Saturday, wasn't it? Nearly 24,000. That's right, Ken. Yes, it's an enormous crowd. There's a kick from Lee. No risk about this one. That's his first goal. And Tasmania gets to within 29 points. There's McLean's kick. It's the drop kick up towards the half-forward line. Shops in front, but it's Wilkinson for about his fifth or sixth mark in this last quarter, bringing down a beauty. He's playing very well indeed at centre-half forward. Absolutely burning in that position, Graham. The lovely long kick. Let's see what he can do with this one. It's a glorious kick by Wilkinson. It's a goal. It's the third goal for Tasmania. And he's taking over where Peter Hudson has failed. Tasmania move on to 8-13-61. South Australia 13-6-84. 17 minutes into the final corner. The crowd right on its toes as Tasmania going to attack again. McMahon gets hold of the ball, drives it forward. But there's Hadcock in the way. And umpire Crouch will bounce it in the right half-forward flank for South Australia. 
cut goes to Garth Smith there. Chance for Tasmania to clear the ball away. They've still got a chance of pulling this game out of the fire. Not much time left, though. Away they go. Here's a hand pass coming out to Grimman. Grimman touches it down. Fumbles. Comes to the ball again. Drives it forward. It's not a well-directed kick. Luckily comes to Hudson. He turns onto his left boot. Shoots the goal. And this will be pretty close. It's through. A goal to Tasmania. There's Hudson, his second goal, he's kicked two six so far. The crowd roaring now as Tasmania come back. They're South yeah. Australia picking up the ball, breaking away, going into attack. Back goes after the Tasmania, backed up here by Wilkinson. Break away, drives the ball forward, in chip South Australia though, through Adcock to Mark. Bagshaw runner, Bagshaw with the ball. Has it midfield on the scoreboard side. Goes through South Australia's left half forward flank. Oti all on his own. Mark unopposed. He's got a lead from Roach. There's the pass coming out to Roach. All on his own also. Away he goes now. Swings the ball right up in front of the uh, South, South Australian goal. Kingston comes late on the scene, but a magnificent kick. Mark taken by Walker. He's had about 17 kicks this fellow. Flanks the ball immediately up to Lawson. Lawson who came on in the final quarter for Tasmania. Playing on the half-back line, kicks into the man for the second time of this quarter. Gives Hicks a chance. There he is to pick up the ball. He sends it right up in front of goal. Here's a chance for Tasmania. Garth Smith, he's caught with it. Kingston, the full forward for South Australia in the thick of it there. Way go Tasmania. Can't get the ball clear. Roberts comes in, backing up well the Tasmanians in defence now. Putting South Australia under a lot of pressure. There's Grimman with the ball. A hand pass goes to McMahon. McMahon can drive it right down to Hudson. There's the kick. It's coming forward. Hudson's dropping back though. Little McLean. Ball. No, it's not allowed. Umpire Kratz is play on. Away goes South Australia. Get the ball out to Roach. Hudson turns. And forward through their half forward line. Grilicic moves to the ball there. He's under pressure, has been one of South Australia's best players at centre half forward. 17 points the difference in the final quarter. Up they go. Clarkson was high. There's Oti coming out with it. Hand passes to Skews. He drives them forward up to Kingston. Kingston can mark this one easily. Kingston lining it up for his fifth goal. Comes in. There's the kick by Kingston. Looks all right from here. Yes, that's his fifth goal. And South Australia go away again. It took a tigerish fight back by the Tasmanians to close the gap to 24 points at the final siren. Had they kicked straight? Who knows? Tassie put in some great performances during the 60s, all the more creditable considering the number of quality players that left to play VFL during that decade. I'm Phil Cleary. See you next time with more halftime footy flashbacks.